What is tantalum capacitors and how does it function? Tantalum capacitors are a type of electrolytic capacitor, a component commonly used in electronic circuits for storing and releasing electrical energy. They are named after the material from which their electrodes are made, which is tantalum, a rare metal. Here's how tantalum capacitors function. Certainly, let's delve into the construction of tantalum capacitors. Anode. The anode of a tantalum capacitor is typically made of sintered tantalum powder. This powder is compacted and then sintered at high temperatures to form a porous structure with a large surface area. This structure allows for a high capacitance density. Dielectric. The dielectric of a tantalum capacitor is formed by a thin layer of tantalum oxide, Ta205, that naturally forms on the surface of the tantalum metal during the manufacturing process. This tantalum oxide layer serves as the insulating material between the anode and the cathode. Cathode. The cathode of a tantalum capacitor is typically made of a conductive material such as manganese dioxide, MnO2. The manganese dioxide is mixed with a conducting electrolyte and applied to the surface of the tantalum oxide layer on the anode. This forms a solid electrolyte interface, SEI, between the tantalum oxide and the manganese dioxide. Encapsulation. The anode, dielectric, and cathode of the tantalum capacitor are encapsulated within a protective casing made of materials such as epoxy or polymer. This casing protects the capacitor from external environmental factors such as moisture, mechanical stress, and electrical interference. Polarity marking. Tantalum capacitors are polarized components, meaning they have a specific positive, plus symbol, and negative, minus symbol, terminal. To indicate the polarity, Tantalum capacitors are typically marked with a stripe on the positive terminal or a polarity marking on the casing. Termination. The terminals of tantalum capacitors are usually made of a conductive material such as nickel or tin-plated copper. These terminals provide the electrical connection points for the capacitor within the circuit. Overall, the construction of tantalum capacitors involves careful assembly of the anode, dielectric, and cathode materials within a protective casing resulting in a compact and reliable component with high capacitance density. Polarity is a crucial aspect of tantalum capacitors due to their construction and function. Tantalum capacitors are polarized, meaning they have a specific positive and negative terminal, unlike non-polarized capacitors which can be connected in either direction. In tantalum capacitors, positive terminal plus this terminal is typically marked with a stripe, a plus sign, plus symbol, or other polarity indicators. It connects to the anode of the capacitor, which is made of tantalum metal. Negative terminal. This terminal connects to the cathode of the capacitor, which is usually made of a conductive material such as manganese dioxide. The negative terminal is not marked distinctly since it's the terminal without the polarity indicator. Applying voltage to a tantalum capacitor in reverse polarity can lead to catastrophic failure. This is because the formation of the tantalum oxide layer which acts as the dielectric, is dependent on the correct polarity. Reversing the polarity can cause the dielectric to break down, leading to short circuits, venting, or even explosion. Therefore, when using tantalum capacitors and circuits, it's crucial to ensure that the positive terminal is connected to the higher voltage potential and the negative terminal to the lower voltage potential, following the polarity markings on the capacitor. Failure to observe proper polarity can damage the capacitor and potentially other components in the circuit. Electrical storage in tantalum capacitors occurs through the process of charge accumulation within the dielectric layer, which separates the anode and cathode of the capacitor. Here's a breakdown of how electrical storage happens. Initial charging. When a voltage is applied across the terminals of a tantalum capacitor, electrons flow from the negative terminal, cathode, to the positive terminal, anode, causing the capacitor to charge. As the capacitor charges, electrons accumulate on the anode, while positive ions form in the electrolyte near the cathode. Formation of dielectric layer. As the capacitor charges, a thin layer of tantalum oxide, Ta205, forms on the surface of the tantalum metal anode. This layer acts as the dielectric of the capacitor, providing insulation between the anode and cathode while allowing the passage of electric fields. Electrical storage. The dielectric layer stores electrical energy by holding the accumulated charge. The capacitance of the tantalum capacitor, determined by factors such as the surface area of the anode and the thickness of the dielectric layer, 
dictates the amount of charge it can store for a given voltage. Discharging. When the capacitor is connected in a circuit, it can discharge its stored energy rapidly when the circuit requires it. Electrons flow from the anode to the cathode, discharging the capacitor. This discharge process can occur almost instantaneously, making tantalum capacitors useful for applications requiring rapid energy release. Voltage stability. Tantalum capacitors typically maintain stable capacitance values over a range of voltages and temperatures. This stability is due to the robust nature of the tantalum oxide dielectric, which can withstand high electric fields without breaking down. Overall, the electrical storage in tantalum capacitors relies on the formation of a stable dielectric layer, which allows for the accumulation and release of electrical charge as needed in electronic circuits. The capacitance of a capacitor, including tantalum capacitors, refers to its ability to store electrical charge per unit voltage. In other words, Capacitance indicates how much electrical energy a capacitor can store for a given voltage. Capacitance is measured in units called farads, F, although capacitors often have capacitance values expressed in microfarads, μF, nanofarads, Nf, or picofarads, Pf, due to the small size of typical capacitors. For tantalum capacitors, capacitance value. Tantalum capacitors typically offer higher capacitance values compared to other types of capacitors of similar physical size. This is due to the high dielectric constant of tantalum oxide and the large surface area of the porous tantalum anode. Factors affecting capacitance. The capacitance of a tantalum capacitor depends on several factors, including the surface area of the anode, the thickness of the tantalum oxide dielectric layer, and the type of electrolyte used in the capacitor. Generally, Increasing the surface area of the anode or decreasing the thickness of the dielectric layer can increase capacitance. Dielectric properties. The dielectric constant of tantalum oxide, Ta205, is relatively high compared to other dielectric materials used in capacitors. This property contributes to the high capacitance density of tantalum capacitors. Capacitance tolerance. Like other capacitors, tantalum capacitors have a specified capacitance tolerance which indicates the range within which the actual capacitance may vary from the nominal value. Common tolerance values for tantalum capacitors include plus or minus 10% and plus or minus 20%. Voltage dependence. The capacitance of tantalum capacitors may vary with applied voltage, particularly at high voltages. This phenomenon, known as voltage coefficient, should be considered in circuit design to ensure proper capacitor performance. Overall, Tantalum capacitors are valued for their high capacitance density, making them suitable for applications where a large capacitance value is required in a small package size. However, it's essential to select tantalum capacitors with appropriate capacitance values and tolerance ratings to meet the requirements of specific electronic circuits. Tantalum capacitors find applications in various electronic devices and circuits where high capacitance density, stability, and reliability are required. Some common applications include Consumer electronics Tantalum capacitors are widely used in consumer electronics such as smartphones, tablets, laptops, and digital cameras. They are employed in power supplies, audio circuits, voltage regulators, and signal filtering circuits due to their compact size and high capacitance values. Computers and peripherals Tantalum capacitors are used in computer motherboards, graphics cards, hard drives, and other peripherals. They help stabilize voltage levels, filter noise, and provide energy storage in critical components. Telecommunications equipment. Tantalum capacitors are found in telecommunications infrastructure equipment such as base stations, routers, switches, and modems. They assist in power conditioning, signal processing, and filtering in these devices. Automotive electronics. Tantalum capacitors are used in automotive electronics for engine control units, ECUs, airbag systems, navigation systems, infotainment systems, and various sensors. They provide reliable performance in harsh automotive environments due to their high temperature tolerance and resistance to vibration. Medical devices. Tantalum capacitors are utilized in medical devices such as pacemakers, defibrillators, infusion pumps, and diagnostic equipment. They ensure stable operation and provide energy storage in critical components of these life-saving devices. Industrial electronics. Tantalum capacitors find applications in industrial automation systems, power distribution equipment, motor drives, and control panels. 
They contribute to power conditioning, noise filtering, and voltage regulation in industrial environments. Aerospace and Defense Tantalum capacitors are used in aerospace and defense applications, including satellites, aircraft avionics, radar systems, missile guidance systems, and electronic warfare systems. They offer high reliability and performance in extreme temperature and vibration conditions. Renewable Energy Systems Tantalum capacitors are employed in renewable energy systems such as solar inverters, wind turbines, and energy storage systems. They assist in power conversion, voltage regulation, and energy buffering in these systems. Overall, tantalum capacitors play a vital role in a wide range of electronic devices and systems across various industries, contributing to their efficient and reliable operation. Stability and reliability are key characteristics of tantalum capacitors, making them suitable for use in a wide range of electronic applications. Here's how stability and reliability are achieved in tantalum capacitors. Temperature stability. Tantalum capacitors exhibit good stability over a wide range of temperatures. The tantalum oxide dielectric and solid electrolyte used in tantalum capacitors maintain their properties across temperature variations, ensuring consistent performance in different operating environments. Voltage stability. Tantalum capacitors maintain stable capacitance values over a range of voltages. The high dielectric constant of tantalum oxide and the quality of the dielectric layer contribute to stable capacitance characteristics, minimizing variations in capacitance with changes in applied voltage. Frequency stability. Tantalum capacitors exhibit stable performance across a wide range of frequencies. They are suitable for applications involving high frequency signals and switching circuits, where stable capacitance values are essential for proper operation. Long term stability. Tantalum capacitors offer excellent long-term stability. They have low leakage currents and maintain their capacitance values over extended periods of operation, ensuring reliable performance throughout the lifespan of electronic devices and systems. High reliability. Tantalum capacitors are known for their high reliability. They undergo rigorous testing and quality control measures during manufacturing to ensure consistent performance and adherence to specifications. This reliability makes tantalum capacitors suitable for use in mission-critical applications where failure is not an option. Resistance to environmental factors. Tantalum capacitors are resistant to environmental factors such as moisture, humidity, and chemical exposure. The encapsulation materials used in tantalum capacitors provide protection against environmental contaminants, ensuring reliable operation even in harsh conditions. Mechanical stability. Tantalum capacitors exhibit mechanical stability with robust construction that can withstand mechanical stress and vibration. This mechanical stability is essential for applications subject to physical shocks or vibrations, such as automotive and aerospace systems. Low failure rates. Tantalum capacitors have low failure rates compared to other capacitor types. When used within their specified operating conditions and voltage ratings, Tantalum capacitors can provide years of trouble-free operation in electronic circuits. Overall, the stability and reliability of tantalum capacitors make them a preferred choice for applications where consistent performance and long-term reliability are essential requirements. Overall, tantalum capacitors are valued for their high capacitance density, stability, and reliability, making them suitable for many applications in modern electronics.